So this is our spider drill. Uh, it's a very, got a very unique uh, folding system. Uh, creates a very nice, tight folding package. But really the meat and potatoes of what it does is put seed in the ground. And it's our 8620 uh, undercut opener uh, that accomplishes that. Uh, it's very good in high residue conditions, low hair pinning, very low soil disturbance, and very uh, good residue handling. So we make sizes from 40 feet up to 74 feet. And when you're talking about productivity in the field, uh, 74 feet of disc drill, our disc drill in particular, uh, running at six and a half miles an hour, will cover a lot of acres in a day. We're also a lower draft than many other units, so your fuel bill will go down, uh, tractor requirements go down, labor requirements go down. So overall, highly productive machine that does a very good job of placing the seed in the soil in high residu residue conditions, um, in wet and dry soils. So this is our 8620 uh, undercut double disc opener. Uh, it does a very good job of seed placement. Uh, the reason being because of the angle of the discs, we just we lift a, a flap of soil, place the seed, and the soil will fall down by gravity. We're not actually moving soil like competitive units do and then trying to move it back. So we always get the, the, so the seed trench closed. As well, because of the double disc design, we don't have the hairpinning issues that some competitive units have. This unit actually moves back and forth. What that does is it allows it to always follow the path of least resistance. So we are uh, always moving as little soil as possible. It also decreases the draft loads. Um, our unit requires one of the is one of the least draft units uh, in the industry for a disc drill. Uh, we can build spider drills with row opener spacings of seven and a half inches to 12 inches. Uh, they're also available with inter-row fertilizer coulters uh, for those customers that want to double shoot uh, their fertilizer in at seeding time. Well, first of all, we really want to thank uh, Ag Days and the, and the team that put together this show. Fantastic show. It's our first time here and uh, it's been a well organized, well run, and uh, it's really the, the reaction we've had from the farmers and the amount of people that have come by is phenomenal. We're actually quite overwhelmed. We were actually in the middle of talking with farmers when the team came over and surprised us with the Innovation Award. So it was uh, a shock, a fantastic surprise, and really a testament to the team that uh, put together this design and built this product in a really short turnaround time from concept in 2019 to actual design in 2020 and, and rollout. So it's a, but that comes from really the history of this company. This company has been around since 1988. Kim Hartman started it with a small uh, farmer manufacturing plant in El Rose, Saskatchewan, which is about an hour and a half southwest of Saskatoon, and started doing direct sales to farmers in the area slowly grew the business. Uh, he brought Ken Parson who's going to do the walk around of it and was lead on the design and development of this team. Started working with Kim in 1995. Two generations of, of frame design and, and this is now number three and uh, so this company is even though this looks like a new product and it's being introduced to the broader Western Canadian and, and North American market. This company's been around for over 30 years, so understands air seeding technology very well and have put innovations in that uh, not only makes it compete, it actually stands out over most air seeders and specifically in the disc market. So.